Hey everyone, in this uh, video I will show you my uh, speed run of all the time twister scenarios. And most of these scenarios are very easy, especially the first one, where you only have to achieve monthly income for ride tickets, which can just be achieved by uh, raising the entrance fee of one of your coasters. Um, there's a lot of uh, scenarios where you have to achieve a park value, so you can just achieve that usually by just spamming uh, the corkscrew coaster or some other kind of coaster that's uh, available quickly. There's one scenario where you have to build 10 types for all the coasters, but you can just reach that with uh, pre-builds, so that shouldn't be too difficult. And with pre-builds I built the coasters that come with the game, not any uh, coasters that I built myself are not, uh, not allowed to have before the run. Anyway, um, most of these uh, scenarios are pretty straightforward, so uh, I will just uh, jump into it. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Alright. So what we'll do here is we'll increase the interest price of that coaster. And that wins us the first scenario. In this scenario, uh, we only have to spam uh, corkscrew coasters because this is uh, one of those park value scenarios. So you will uh, know this coaster by now. Let's make it purple. Okay, this will lose me a few seconds, but uh, I think it's worth it. Okay, and now we'll just spam it like there's no tomorrow. And this will also just take a few seconds. Okay, another scenario beaten. Next, okay, here we have to make 10 coasters, each with an excitement rating of at least uh, 6. Okay, so here we put lava launch, test mode, uh, we'll build stingray under that. We'll build alaconda uh, right next to that. We'll build island peril here in the water. We'll make a loop-de-loop -loop here. That's number five, if I'm not mistaken. Mystic flight here. Terror dactyl here. We'll build X here. And we'll build a penguin toboggan here. And this one takes a little bit long to test. And we'll build Black Widow here. Okay, and then we'll spam scenery around these two. No, let's just hope no rides break down. Okay, we won the scenario. That was really quick. Okay, this one uh, will take a little bit longer. 
but should not be too much of an issue. And we'll remove these spots to make the park uh, a little bit smaller. And again, uh, we can just spam corkscrew uh, coasters here. We have to uh, get a certain amount of guests in this park. Oh. I really need to stop misclicking. And I need to stop getting trolled by the isometric perspective. Add some stuff. And I'm doing it again. Fifteen of these uh, should be enough to win the scenario, but I'll first build a little bit more, just to be sure. So every uh, orchestra coaster that you build uh, raises the guest cap with uh, 100. So if you build 15, you have uh, 1500 for the guest cap. And then you should not have any trouble generating uh, 1500 guests for the scenario goal. But having a few more is always uh, a nice thing. Because uh, the more coasters you have, the less people will be on your path. And that's always a good thing. Because less people on your paths means less complaining of overcrowding. Which means, uh, well, yeah, as long as they're in your uh, coasters, they uh, they will get uh, happier. Okay, let's raise the entrance price now, so and then we can uh, keep doing ads. And we'll probably want some uh, shops and stalls as well. Okay, I didn't have a loan, now I do. Oops. No, we don't have a drink stall in this scenario, but uh, I think we can do with that. Okay, that was another scenario beaten. Okay, this one will have to be a, a little bit more careful because uh, this is one of the scenarios where you cannot drop the park rating below a certain value, and that always makes it a little bit more tricky. Um, now, just to remove some unnecessary paths. And now we'll just remove all the scenery we can. As I mentioned in the Wacky Worlds uh, speedrun, in some scenarios uh, there's actually a lot of uh, scenery that will cost money when you remove it. But in this scenario that's, uh, that's not really the case. So what we'll do now is we'll make this uh, trebuchet right.
put it in intense mode and we test it and we'll save the design and another thing we need to do is uh, lower the park entrance price so to free so some guests will actually enter the park this is uh, very important because we need to get the park rating above 700 in the beginning. Now I will put the umbrella price to 20 here, just because it uh, rains so much in this scenario. And it will be useful to have some uh, extra cash. Okay, now that I've saved the, this right design, I can spam it. And that should also uh, attract some guests to the park. And with all the money that we earned, I'm gonna start uh, already start the advertisements because we uh, need some guests to actually. And make the park rating rise and right now it's very important that I get the park rating up as soon as possible Okay, some stuff. We have uh, a lot of money, so we don't really have to worry about it. About uh, the staff wages at the moment. I'll add a few roller coasters. It's a chocolate log always works well. Okay, that should also attract some more guests. And we'll just keep spamming these. Okay, I think it's time to take a loan. Okay, with all these rides, I don't think we have to really worry about the park rating anymore. But I'll just keep it uh, at this speed for now. Okay, I'll add some handyman. Because these rides are quite uh, vomit inducing. And we'll want to keep our paths clean, because too much vomit and your park rating will drop. Okay, I think we can now increase our uh, entrance price to 40. And now we'll make uh, buck loads of money. build more of these. I'm not sure how much uh, each uh, top spin adds to the guest cap. I think it's around 50 or 60. So we'll need quite a lot of these. If we needed uh, 1500 guests. A lot of rain in this scenario.
Okay, um, advertisements. I'll just add a few more. And this should do it. Perfect. Okay, future first encounters. Uh, let's open all the pre existing rights. And what we'll want to do here is uh, make a path to the back. A nice straight path. <laughs> Oops. And what we'll do here is we'll take uh, inverted impulse coaster, we build up like this, and then we make four vertical pieces. Now we'll give it a bit of a cue because we'll need this. Uh, Right design also in a later scenario. Okay, um, 53 uh, without passing station or else will crash. Okay. Um, we'll need to repay our loan in this scenario, so to do that we first have to uh, gain some money. So I'll increase the entrance price and I'll take the full loan now, just so I can spam more of these. And then when I have that, there will be so many guests coming into the park that we can quickly repay the loan and then we'll just uh, spam one or two more of these rides and then we should get to have the required park value Okay, now we'll just uh, speed up, just so we can uh, repay our loan. And we should probably uh, hire some staff. Okay, done. Animatronic film set. Okay, this uh, scenario is a joke. Because you need a certain park value here, which can easily be reached by just uh, spamming corkscrew coasters. So yeah, if you don't like uh, watching uh, corkscrew coasters, just uh, skip to the next uh, scenario.
this uh, will just take a minute or so. And then we can go to the next one. The next one is a tricky scenario that will actually uh, require some good uh, strategy. Here we will need uh, 2700 guests and that's uh, in a scenario that's pretty poorly uh, designed. Okay, we won this one. Um, prehistoric Jurassic Safari. So we'll open the park and we'll uh, delete all rides on this side of the this side the ravine and we'll delete all the paths here as well this should earn us some nice uh, money So yeah, the scenario is really poorly uh, designed. Uh, so it's basically two sides of a ravine, uh, and they're connected by transport rides. Well, first of all, your employees won't take uh, transport rides, so they're if they want to go to uh, if your mechanics want to go fix a ride on the other side of the ravine then uh, well, they won't be able to reach it and the guests will uh, usually get stuck uh, looking for a ride that's on the other side and they won't tr take transport rides uh, to actually reach it so what we'll do here is we'll just make a path to the other side This so the guests will be able to find their way and our employees as well. Okay, that's that. Um, I will now put a banner here just to prevent guests from going to this side. So, from one side of the scenario, they will immediately walk to the other side. There's uh, nothing to be found now on the other side, so. Uh, it's a good thing they will come here. Okay, we immediately have the inverted impulse coaster, so that's the ride we will uh, spam in this scenario. Okay, this is a free, um, free ride entrance scenario, so we'll have to put some uh, ATMs to make sure that the guests are uh, with the umbrellas we have to make sure that the guests are uh, run out of money okay, if you don't uh, put any ATMs uh, your guests will usually quickly leave the park uh, when they run out of money and you will usually be stuck at a low number of guests just because they will uh, leave so quickly. And that is something you'll want to avoid. I will need to add some handymen and some mechanics. Because they'll often be uh, on the bridge to the other side of the park, sadly. Because they ignore the banner that says no entry. I will not just spend these until we run out of money.
Now we need a lot of guests in this scenario, so that's why uh, I gave this ride a queue in the in the last scenario where I built it, just so we can keep the guests off the paths here. Oops. Loop de loop. We'll need a lot of these because the number of guests that we require is really high. Now the downside of this uh, ride is that it makes the guests quite nauseous, so we'll need a lot of handymen. And we might even need to put some benches. And with that, we probably also need to put some uh, security cards to keep our benches in uh, good shape. Because uh, lots of vomit means the means the guest may want to uh, may get angry and decide to smash stuff. So we also want to prevent that. Assign some zones. And this should keep some of the areas uh, less uh, messy. I should open this uh, pre build right. Uh, I think this is enough rides. But a few more won't hurt. Actually, we have the roller coaster, the corkscrew roller coaster now. So I'll build that one instead. So let's start some uh, advertisements. This one's a little bit expensive. Okay. Now there's a lot of vomit on the on the paths. Um, let's see if there's any. Oh. Yes, they're still behaving themselves. So um, I will assign some more zones because the just to keep the handyman from the queues. So they can focus on the on the cleaning the paths. OK. 
okay um, we'll need uh, extra handyman in this area I think okay and now we'll add uh, extra parts just to uh, prevent overcrowding they're really in bogus parts leading to nowhere but uh, hey as long as they use them Okay, along this path we'll uh, add a few more rides. And we'll add a ton of extra handymen. Right now we're earning so much money that we can afford it. Okay, uh, let's see how our advertisements are doing. We need to extend them. Make some more bogus parts here. You can see how quickly the guests are uh, vomiting on the newly created parts. Okay, let's add some uh, more rides here with some cues to keep the guests off the paths. Let's add some shops in this area to lure more guests here. And an ATM as well. All right, this uh, this should be enough if the ads don't run out. Okay, overcrowding is still quite an issue, so we'll just add more paths like that. Let's add some shops here as well.
and we'll add another ATM to keep uh, people from leaving. Add some uh, mechanics because I can see there uh, lots of rides have downtime. Okay, I think uh, we should be good now. But that's also what I thought earlier. Okay, that should be it. Perfect. So, yeah, this is uh, the scenario that really takes the longest time. Now, here we have another. Uh, really easy one so um, let's see is this the okay so we'll use the limb launched coaster Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't have to save it with scenery. Okay, so this works the uh, same as the corkscrew coaster. And since the park value is decided by the stats of your coaster, this is a really easy way to uh, achieve a certain park value. So yeah, this trick doesn't only work with the corkscrew coaster, the limb launched coaster can also do this. We don't even have to take out a loan as this should get us what we need. Okay, that's another scenario beaten. Uh, future world, um, this one's also really easy. Let's just uh, open the rides we have. Um, we need to research uh, roller coasters. We'll add. Um, and main mechanic and now we'll wait for the limb launched coaster to be invented okay there we have it And we'll repeat the same thing we did in the scenario. Speed it up a notch.
Okay, this should be enough. Or maybe not. Okay. Okay, another scenario that's too easy, really. We have to get a park value here, but the goal is not particularly high. And you have to corkscrew coaster from the start. So you know the drill. Next scenario uh, is going to be fun again, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. So what I'll do first is uh, remove all the scenery in the park. And now we have some nice space to build here. Now we'll have to research the vertical drop coaster. Okay, that's the first thing to be researched. And now we'll make the Amity Airfield design. Um, how was it again? Um, I need to see how it will fit here. Okay, and this should work. I need to build it a bit higher. I forgot the block breaks. There we go. No, I'm silly and I built it too close to the path. So let me remove that. So I can uh, make a queue. Okay. And now this will be our cash cow. And we'll build a few more of these. In this area that we uh, cleared up by removing the tar pit. We can build one more, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Now we'll also put some uh, shops here, including an information kiosk. That's 20 for the umbrellas, and look at that, it's just starting to rain, which is excellent. And let's also put an ATM for our guests to uh, run out of money. And the good thing about this design is that you can build it uh, very, uh, very compact. Especially if you try to build the two of them uh, next to each other. Okay, we are at the max uh, loan. So I think now we'll have to rely on our coasters to bring in some uh, some cash for us. No, I saved a bit on uh, staff. So I didn't hire many. So I hope we're going to do fine. Okay, right now you can see the cash coming in from the umbrellas, which is nice. Okay, our number of guests is increasing, which is good. So now we can make a few more of these. I'll stack it uh, above the other. Um, like that. And we have enough money for another one. Space is quite limited here, so we'll want to try and build a compact. Okay, we're earning a lot of money now, which is good. Okay. Let's wait a bit. We don't have enough money anyway. Okay, so we need to either pay back our loan and achieve a park value of at least 250,000. So in order to do that, we'll have to uh, make a few more coasters to earn us uh, enough money. Thankfully, we can just uh, keep spamming these. So yeah, I took this design from uh, from Marshall. He used this this in his uh, MIT airfield uh, run, and it's re a really useful design. It's nice, compact, and it has uh, good stats. Okay, um, I think we can go and see uh, if we can pay back our loan. Okay, that's good. 
All right, scenario beaten. Roaring 20 skyscrapers. Okay, this is another scenario where we have to take care not to drop the park rating below 700. Uh, we have the, the limb launch roller coaster here, but we don't have the correct parts. Again, uh, we need to lower the entrance price for guests to start uh, spawning. Okay, so we need 1100 guests. We cannot let the park rating drop. What I'll do first is uh, we'll start an advertisement campaign. Just so the guests uh, spawn a little faster. So, um, 11 of these <laughs> should actually be enough. But I'll just place a few extra. Okay, um, let's put some shops down we don't need the money really let's put some uh, shops Okay, I think uh, with this we can beat the scenario. I think I'll connect some parts just to uh, spread out the guests a little bit. And I'll put some shops here at the end. Oh, we don't have toilets here. They are being researched. Okay, I'm adding some staff now. So we don't want the park rating to drop. I had some shops here. Who knows, some guests might decide to go here to get their food and drinks instead of uh, to this area of the park. Um, here we'll add some extra paths. And some extra rides maybe. Did 
Yes, so the guests have an extra reason to go here. I think it will be very crowded in the in the area near the park entrance. So the more guests decide to go to this uh, area, the better. Actually, I'll delete the shops here. Because it's better if they go this direction. Okay, time to make the park entrance uh, fee a bit higher so we can fund uh, advertisement campaigns. Now I have to keep a close eye on the park rating while speeding up. Because if it drops for some reason, uh, I don't want to immediately fail the scenario. If it drops below 700, you have four weeks to fix it. Not enough cash. No, no worries. Okay. Oh, damn. The park rating is uh, really low now. Uh, now I have to be careful. Okay, so I'll add uh, a ton of stuff. Add lots of paths. I'll do the same here. Okay, I think it's because of litter. Yeah, the park rating immediately increases again. So that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing I uh, am so careful with the speeding up. It's little things like these that can really mess up your uh, run. Okay, it's still above 700, so I'm gonna again. Try to boost it using advertisements. We'll add more handyman. Running out of cash. Oh, come on. Okay, finally. <laughs> Now for the final scenario, rock and roll. So first thing we'll do is delete all the existing rides. Uh, we'll delete all the scenery. And we'll delete some of these paths as they're horribly inefficient. Really, who came up with these horrible paths? And I don't just mean the path design, I also mean these flower power paths. They hurt my eyes. <laughs> okay, in this uh, scenario, we'll want to research the looping coaster. Okay, there you have the looping coaster. Ok, 
copy, <laughs> just uh, park value. So we don't have to worry about uh, connecting them to the pods. Okay. We'll save the track design. And now we'll spam the hell out of it. So we beat the scenario. Oops. And that mean, will also mean we have uh, beaten the run when we finish this one. Rock and roll. Let's keep this uh, tab open. Just so we can keep an eye on the Park value. Okay, almost there. And we have to repay our loan. I forgot about that. So that actually sets us back a little bit. This is a funny mistake to make in the final scenario. Okay, what we'll do here is uh, replace all these paths which have, uh, which have so we'll replace these paths with have which have the Disgusting stuff on them. And we'll just quickly connect the parts. and then open the rights so we can make money of them. Yeah, that won't work. So yeah, now the scenario will take a little bit longer. Oh well.
we're already making money, so that's a good thing. Now we'll remove the ones which are difficult to uh, create a path towards and we'll keep the other ones. Okay, now we'll add uh, several more of these. We'll save the track design with scenery. And we'll just keep spamming these uh, bad boys. Since it's pay for it per ride, we'll place an uh, ATM. Oh, there's already an ATM. Never mind. Did I open the shops? Restroom 2 is closed. Okay, we're making uh, money now. The park value is still high enough. Win. All right. Okay, that was all the time twister scenarios. Let's quickly check if we did all of them. Yes, they all have a check mark. So uh, that was it for the time twist scenarios. Well, obviously, I made a little mistake in the last scenario, but I don't think it cost me too much time because I had to build these coasters anyway. Now I just took a little bit longer to create a path towards it. So overall, I, I don't think I really did a bad job at uh, these time twist scenarios. Lots of them uh, are really, uh, were really fast. Uh, there's just a few that uh, take a little bit longer and that may be a little bit tricky to do, and which probably can still be uh, optimized a lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, if, if you want, you can join my Discord. We also have a channel there where we discuss uh, speedrunning, speedrunning stra strategies. It may be interesting for you to, uh, to join us. Uh, I will post these runs on uh, speedrun.com, so you can also watch them uh, there if you want. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you again next time. See you later.